Well, you are now a part of a hit show. Certainly, I think it's probably my favorite show. I hate to say of the year because I think it came out last year. Abbott Elementary, which is incredible. And I love situational comedies. I was a big fan of The Office big fan of of other similar um, type of shows, Chicago Southside, that's another one of my favorite shows. And so Abbott Elementary was right on time. And it's just so wonderfully done. And your character, Barbara Howard, is hysterical. And um, I know you have gone through this probably a few times in, in your career, but it feels like, and it's so weird to me, that there's a group of people that's always discovering you for the first time, despite the fact that you have been here and been established and done so much. So what does it feel like to be a part of, for people who don't know, another hit show? Because this ain't your first by any stretch. (laughs) You know what? It's so interesting that you say that. Because for me, it seems like my cup is always filling up. It, there, there's not that moment where everybody says, oh, we, we all know, we all get it. It's like, no, it's a bit here. It's a bit there. It's more on top of that. It's more, it's more. And here we are with Abbott Elementary. And I feel like in many ways, my cup runneth over because this is a joy. This is magic. I work with great people and I love to say, oh yeah, my boss is 32 and she is fabulous. She is wonderful. I would love- Wonderful Quinta Brunson. Oh, Quinta (laughs) Brunson. I I love working with Quinta Brunson so much. You know, very often you see all of these, these TV shows and these movies where the older boss is jealous or mean to the younger boss. I want to see the show where I get to love on my little boss and say, yes, go girl, come on, let's do this. You know, because we are having the best time. And I love Quinta's spirit, her talent, her thought process, her thoughtfulness, her kindness. It's just, it's in many ways infectious and just wonderful. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, how does this, the success of this show compare to, as I said, this isn't your first time you've been a part of a, a successful show. Um, you know, a lot of people know you still from Moesha. You will always be Brandy's mama to a lot of people or stepmom. So, but um, having been a part of what the success on television looks like, how does, how does this differ from maybe some of the other success you've experienced in the same arena? Uh, you know, a lot about the industry has changed in that we're not just on TV, we're being streamed. And for a lot of people, we they're seeing us around the world. And it is amazing. It was years before the United Kingdom got to see Moesha. We had been on for about five years before they got to see it. We were only on for about 25 hours before the rest of the world got to see Abbott Elementary. So the messages are traveling much faster and the response is coming in so much quicker. And it has been amazing to see how much everybody loves the show. Now, of course, there are a few naysayers, but they are a few naysayers. Other than that, the response has been like, this is the TV show we needed right now. This is the kind of attention we needed on our teachers right now. And I agree with them. Yeah, I mean, that's the other part of it is that it is shining a light on what teachers go through, even though, you know, obviously it's a comedy, but you still, um, I think there's still important messages that are sent, namely the importance of teachers, period. Um, And especially the importance of, you know, having black teachers influencing black kids. I know everybody on the cast isn't black, but that's a huge central theme uh, that is in this. Um, and I, listen, every possibility or chance or opening I get, I always say little Nissan sandwich, thanks to you. <laughs> and you know what? I When I heard that, when I read that line, because quite honestly, this is one of the very first times I've ever really trusted all of the lines on the paper. I mean, I really trust them. And when I saw that line, I was like, huh? But I was just like, oh, just say it. Now everybody's saying it. (laughs) Now everybody says it. I 
that note. You never know. It's, 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 mm-hmm. Exactly. It's like the subtle things that sometimes hit. When you read this, uh, this, this script, did you know it was going to be as big of a, a success as it became? You know what? I, I did not really know what was in store in terms of sitcoms, especially a mockumentary style sitcom with a cast that looks the way ours does, meaning we're heavy on African-American, even though we are a diverse cast, we are heavily African-American. I did not know what the response would be for that, but did I know it was a special script, a wonderful script with something to say that there was no not seeing that. Was I hoping for great things? Absolutely. Did I feel it was gonna get a pickup? Yes, I did but I did not have any idea that we would have this onslaught of love and affection and audience in mm-hmm. such amazing numbers. The, the yeah. fact that quadrupled our ratings in less, yeah. in less than four episodes, you know, when that happened, it was like, my God, what's going on here? How did you, um, how did you get involved with the show? Like, how did, how did they bring you in? I was working with Quinta on another series called A Black Lady Sketch Show. Yes, I remember the sketch you did. <laughs> there you go. And it, it, she, she was very interesting because she spent a lot of time just looking at me like she was observing me, which I, I found very interesting. I said, oh, wow, this is great. She's actually paying attention, you know, to, you know, when you do your work, you know, and... Uh, it was some, there was something that I did in that script that I had not done my whole career. And she just thought it was so hilarious. But, and I remember her laughing and she was like, oh my God. But 18 months later, I get a call from her that she has this series and um, it'll, it's going to ABC and uh, the pilot, you know, not the whole show, the pilot. And the role, she had a role with me in mind and um, just me. And would she knew that I, she says, Miss Ralph, I know that you're in a position in your career where you get offered things and that is exactly what should happen. You should be <laughs> offered things because you are you. But it would be helpful if you would, you know, like meet the people involved in this. But, and, but please, before all of that, just read the script. I read the script, I loved the script. And she was thinking of me for Mrs. Howard, the role that I'm, I'm playing currently in the show. And I, I said, you know, what about giving me a shot at Ava? Because Ava, the principal, that would be so unexpected for me. Nobody would even mm-hmm. imagine seeing me that way. And I was like, this would be great because I could easily do that. And she said, absolutely not. No, we need a queen for Mrs. Howard. We need a royal woman. And that is you. And I was like, well, my God, um, how, how does one say, say no to that? Thank you. I will be your queen. Yes. <laughs> and that's how it all came together. 